Hi, I'm here to show you the new Solera NFS plugin. This is version 1.1, and now we have complete integration with VMware View 4. So let's get started. I've actually gone ahead already and installed the new plugin. It's a very simple MSI install. It's, you know, next, next, finish, and now you're done. Now in the vSphere client, all we have to do is add our Solera, which I'm going through now. Very nice wizard. I'm going to enter in the IP address of my control station, username, password, and then also my DHSM user and password. And as you can see, the Solera is now added to the plugin. And what I'm going to do now is actually go in and add my connection to my View Manager server. So I just put in my IP address of my View Manager server, the username and password uh, of someone that has administrative rights. Finish, and as you see, View Manager connections there and done. What I'm going to do now is show you my view administrator. And we can see in my pools, I have one pool already created called vSpec. What I'm going to do now, though, is go back to my vSphere client and actually create some fast clones. Same way we traditionally did it in the past with the pre previous version of the plugin. Now we have a really nice Windows style wizard. We're going to choose the destination of these fast clones. Very familiar window. I'm going to choose how many clones I would like, what to call these clones. And then one thing we'll see at the bottom there is integrate with VMware View. What this does, if we check that box, is actually ask us for more details about the view uh, pool to create. So we'll choose the view server. And then we have the choice of either adding that to a new pool or using an existing view pool. For these, we'll just create a new pool. We're going to give that pool a unique ID and also a display name. You could also put an optional description in there. And then for persistence, we can either do a persistent desktop image or a non-persistent image. I'm going to do non-persistent for this pool. And then we have some pool settings that we can choose, such as do we want to disable the VM, suspend it, power it on, power it off after uh, when it's not in use? Do we want to log off the user immediately after a disconnection? Do we want to give the users the ability to reset their own desktop? Also, what type of protocol, either RDP or PC over IP, and then some Adobe Flash settings for that PC over IP connection. So I hit finish, and as you can see, our clones are starting to be created. We have 10 clones. We're doing roughly around a image every two to three seconds. So it's very quick, deploying very fast. These are fast clones, so at the array level, it's simply a file level snapshot, and then it's going in and registering that virtual machine within Virtual Center. So we'll let this finish up. We'll have 10 clones, real quick, real easy. And what we'll see, as soon as that 10th one's finished, it's actually going to then uh, do some interaction with VMware View. It's going to go and create that pool, add those 10 desktops to that pool, and then be ready and enabled for use. So we can see now the clones are complete. Now it's adding those clones to View. So if we go back to View Administrator and do a refresh, we'll see that new pool appear shortly. That pool is that View Solera pool that we created with the Solera plugin. And it's enabled and it's ready to go. So the only thing we need to do now is entitle that pool. So we're just going to add a Active Directory group to this pool. We'll choose that group. That group will then be entitled to that pool. And there you have it. We have a pool of 10 desktops provisioned in VMware View fast clones within VMware vCenter, all ready to go, all within just a few minutes. Very quick, very easy, very efficient, saves a lot of disk space. So that's it, I thank you for joining us. That was a preview of the Solera NFS plugin version 1.1.